Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this BeatStation tutorial, I'll show you how to use a MIDI controller with BeatStation in the standalone mode. This is a great feature because you can trigger all of BeatStation sounds live. And remember to follow Wingsound on Facebook and Twitter to keep up to date with the latest releases from Wingsound Studio. If you're using BeatStation in standalone mode and you want to use a MIDI controller with BeatStation, what you need to do is tell BeatStation where that MIDI information is coming from. So to do so, go to the MIDI drop down menu, choose MIDI device, and you know, depending on your setup, uh, this little box will vary with things that you can choose from. So I have my interface hooked up, my M box, and I also have a USB Axion 25 and you know I have those options there to choose from so just choose accordingly to whatever you're using you know if you're using the MIDI through your interface make sure the interface is checked so BeatStation knows that MIDI information is coming through the interface but you know in the typical case you have a USB uh, you know MIDI controller and you want to make sure that is checked so I have my USB Axion 25 port 1 checked port 2 doesn't work for me so I'm not sure how it's going to work with you guys, but, you know, just check around, see which port works for you guys. But port one works for me. So checked. Now hit OK. And then the next thing you want to do is, again, go to the MIDI drop down menu and go to MIDI channel. So typically you want to just keep it at Omni. So Omni means that, you know, all of the MIDI channels, they're all coming in. You know, this comes into play if you're using certain MIDI channels where your MIDI controllers are hooked up, you know, and you want to choose accordingly. So again, BeatStation knows what channel, you know, what MIDI channel that information is coming through, but choose Omni so you don't really have to worry about that too much. So again, one, you know, double check, make sure everything's all hooked up correct. And as you can see, my Axion controller is controlling all the aspects of BeatStation. Make sure you follow Wingsound on Twitter and Facebook to stay connected to a stream of new videos as well as cool music production links. Twitter.com slash Wingsound or search for Wingsound on Facebook.